On the outskirts of Beijing, Hui Muslims are on their way to their local mosque. In Shuiying village, all two and a half thousand people are Hui Muslim. They've been praying here for more than 400 years. The entire village believes in Islam. In this way, it's much easier to follow the Islamic tradition than in the city. And some people who move here even decide to convert, like Jiang Wei. First I converted for love, now I've gotten used to the Islamic culture. Together with his wife, they run a halal restaurant. This is the only halal Chinese stew restaurant in Beijing. Behind the restaurant, Shui Qi's mother prepares a Ramadan specialty. We use warm water to mix the flour, then we add salt and yeast. It's really good, really fluffy. She's been making this bread for 40 years but says practicing her traditions hasn't always been easy. More than 10 years ago, it wasn't good for Hui Muslims. In the past, during the Cultural Revolution, lots of things were burnt, like the Quran. For many here, breaking the Ramadan fast reminds them of how good they have it. Now we have enough meat, enough vegetables, even in winter. Before, we couldn't fill our bellies. But while the Ramadan traditions are alive and well among the elderly here, the young have been swept up by the pressures of modern life. Because if they fast, they can't really do their work. While these men enjoy the breaking of the fast, Ramadan each year helps the small community revive their decades-old traditions. Dan Epstein, TRT World, Beijing.